Hello, 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 everybody. This is Tony, CEO and founder of Toronto Electric Car Rental. Just bring another video for my YouTube channel. Uh, this video, I'm going to talk about Turo, and I'm going to talk about the best vehicles to purchase to buy for a Turo, okay? So without further ado, let's get right into it, guys. So this is my shop that I have here in Louisville, Kentucky. And yes, I have an all-black fleet that I rent out here uh, for $100 a day, unlimited miles, no deposit. And I've been doing Turo for about three years now. Um, I have over 2,000 trips. I'm an R-Star host, I'm a power host, okay? And a lot of people ask me all the time, well, what's the best vehicle to get? What's the best vehicle to buy for Turo? And I'm gonna show you guys and explain to you and answer the question in this video, okay? We'll give you guys a lot of tips, a lot of gems, a lot of advice uh, as far as the vehicles uh, to get for Turo in this video right here, guys, okay? Uh, this is something that people normally pay for. Um, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consultations and a Turo course. Normally people pay for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys this free game and advice and gems on this video. So please stay tuned and watch the entire video, guys, okay? So um, before I, first thing I would say, that it does depend on your market, whatever market you're in. You know, I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. It's gonna be different than somebody in Atlanta versus somebody in Miami or Vegas or LA. So every market's gonna be different, okay? Uh, in my market, uh, I'm going to say, you know, SUVs all day long. SUVs is going to be the best vehicle to, to get or to buy, okay? So this Dodge Durango, uh, this is actually the first vehicle that I had when I first started doing Turo. Uh, this is the first one I had. Uh, it still does really, really well. It's one of my best vehicles that I have, uh, this Dodge Durango. It's got the red interior, uh, got the TVs and the headrest, sunroof, uh, third row. Uh, it's loaded. It's nice. It's a Hemi. Um, so this this vehicle is what started off for me guys. Okay, uh, so SUVs are going to be um, the best Okay, in my personal opinion. Uh, this is my other Durango. This is the SRT 392 uh, I'll talk about this a little bit later uh, And these are the new vehicle guys. So this is like the Cadillac Escalade that I have uh, This is the Yukon Denali uh, This is the Chevy Tahoe all these vehicles right here, you cannot go wrong with, guys, okay? Uh, third row SUVs are going to be the best for Turo. As you can see here, it's luxury, it's nice, it's spacious. Um, you know, having that third row, um, this actually holds eight people. So you got three in the back, three in the middle, um, and two right here. So this is actually eight passenger uh, for this Cadillac Escalade. And this one right here is also a third row, seven passengers. Um, you got the bucket seats right here, um, and then you got the uh, three seats in the back, okay? I uh, got the TV as well, all right? So um, SUVs um, all day long, okay? Uh, if I could start all over again, um, I would my whole entire fleet would have been the SUVs, you know, third row, um, all-wheel drive SUVs. All these vehicles are booked all the time, guys. They stay booked all the time. Now, the vehicles that I would stay away from that I wouldn't get is this right here. So... This is my Chrysler 300. Uh, it is a beautiful car. It is nice. It is a Hemi, but uh, this vehicle attracts the wrong type of crowd, the wrong type of people. Um, it is a Hemi. It is rear wheel drive. People rent this. They just want to go and do burnout, speed, race, um, try to push it to the backs. Uh, so this vehicle is just not good for Turo, in my personal opinion. Same thing with this. Um, this is a convertible. This is a V6 convertible. It's also a rear wheel drive. Uh, it's nice, but it's river drive and it's a sports car and it's a convertible. So this vehicle I would not recommend either. Plus it's small, you know, you're going to get like two people in here because I literally have no back seat really. So it's really mainly only for two people, so like date night, stuff like that. So I wouldn't recommend any convertibles. Uh, I wouldn't recommend any sports cars and I definitely would not recommend this slingshot either. Okay. Because it's seasonal in my market. This only gets rinsed out uh, about half the year uh, during the spring and summer. It stays booked. But during the, the winter time and, you know, in fall, it's cold, it's raining and snowing. This just sits and collect dust. So I make no money at all from the slingshot. So it's very seasonal. So I would, I'm not buying another slingshot. I'm not buying another sports car. I'm only going with SUVs going forward, guys. Okay. They're going to be the money makers. So, so people ask me all the time, you know, I want to get started on Turo. Um, what vehicle should I buy? Uh, SUVs all day long. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a truck. A truck does really well too, and also a van. But I feel like an SUV is the best of both worlds because they're nice, they're luxury, they're spaces. You got third row, so it's going to hold more people. Um, people with families, kids, um, large groups, uh, they can all pitch in and get a rental, get an SUV. So SUVs all day long will be a number one choice. And that's why I got so many of them, guys. Okay. And this vehicle right here is the first one, and this is my moneymaker still to this day. Now, 
Uh, as far as the SRT 392, um, I would not go buy a uh, scat pack um, or a SRT or a Hellcat because really it's not worth it. Um, this vehicle right here and this vehicle right here, they make almost the same amount of money. And I spent like 30K for this vehicle and I spent like 60K for this vehicle. So because it's an SRT 392. So most people don't care about the trim level, okay? So, um, so I say that to say, you know, if you're gonna go with an SUV, uh, don't go with a brand new one and don't go with the highest trim level, okay? Because this, this vehicle makes almost the same monthly as this vehicle, but the car payment on her is double, it's twice, because it was $60,000 versus this was only $30,000, okay? So i uh, say that as well. Now, all the other vehicles I bought, um, I did buy them used, but I did go with the highest trim level. So I got the, you know, Yukon Denali, but I only spent $30,000 for this car, okay? Because the Denali, I know how to shop online. So I only spent 30K for the Denali, okay? So it still was a good investment. Same thing with the Tahoe. I got the Tahoe uh, LTZ, uh, which is the highest trim level, but I only spent like less than 30K for this vehicle, okay? So, and it's used, okay? Same thing with the Cadillac Escalades. Um, I only spent, you know, around $30,000 for the Escalades as well, and the highest trim level was fully loaded with all the bells and whistles, all the options, okay? So I say that to say, uh, you know, get SUVs, but also try to get one to use, and also uh, don't go with the highest trim level, especially like if you go with the Dodge Durango, don't get a Hellcat, don't get an SRT, because people's gonna dog it, abuse it, push it to the max, and also with the price tag, it's not worth it, okay? So there's no point in you spending 60, 70, 80 grand for a car, where you can spend third, half of that and make the same amount of money, okay? So that's what I wanna say about, you know, uh, just to kind of compare um, this vehicle right here, versus this vehicle right here. And, and like I said, they make about the same monthly, but this one costs double the price, okay, as this one right here. So, so basically, you know, this video is basically going to give you guys some, you know, free information, free tips, or advice, and also give you guys a tour of my fleet, uh, my shop, and my vehicles, because um, it is a weekday. So I got half my cars here. Normally they're all gone. So I just want to kind of want to give you guys a tour of my shop and a couple of my vehicles that I have here, guys, and tell you that if you want to get started on Turo or if you want to grow and expand, um, I will only recommend buying SUVs, okay? Um, like I said, if I could just start all over again, um, I would have never bought any of these cars right here. Um, my, my, my Charger, my Challenger, they all in the shop right now wrecked because people wrecked them, okay? So people just drive reckless. Uh, it attracts the young crowd. Uh, all they want to do is, is smoke speed, race, uh, push the cars to the max, do burnouts, and it's just not worth it, okay? So I wouldn't, rec like I said, so basically SUVs, all-wheel drive, uh, third row is what I recommend anybody who wanna get into the car rental business, uh, whether if it's two row, get around, high car, private rentals, um, I definitely recommend SUVs over anything else, guys, okay? Uh, and if you guys check out my other videos, uh, you, can talk, you can see like my numbers, you know, how much, each vehicle makes stuff like that, but every month my SUVs are the top performers, the top earners every month and for the year, okay? So again, let me give you guys one last tour um, of my vehicles here. And like I said, the SUVs uh, is what I would recommend anybody who wanna get into the, uh, the car rental space, okay? If you like videos like, if you like content like this, I post videos like this all the time. So please uh, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, you can also follow me on social media, Tony Luxury Cars on all social media platforms. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, I'm out. Peace.